I once had to share flip-flops with a friend after losing one of mine on a hike. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, I'm just wondering whether I lost a flip-flop or a friend. <laughs> David's team. How did that work? What was the system? Where were you? Uh, we were in um, Thailand, going oh. to a full moon party. David. That's not hiking, then, is it? <laughs> yeah. They don't hike to a full moon party. I've been to the full moon party. There was no hiking involved. Yeah. You probably got the bus there, did you? I did get the bus there. That's a good point. That's right. Is... And um, what's a full moon party? Everyone else seems to know. Well, let's start with a party first. Do you know what that is? Uh, uh, yes. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a group of individuals of the same political persuasion, and in totalitarian <laughs> circumstances, it can become dominant. <laughs> There's a certain island in Thailand where every month they have a full moon. The full moon is out and there's a big party on the beach. So we thought we'll go to that, we'll have a bit of that. Me and my friend. Yeah. We thought we'd go round the headland. It's only about an hour, they said, to walk around the headland. But we set off in flip-flops. Mm -hmm. Bad idea. What time of day? Oh, midday, probably. Midday? Yeah. But it's a full moon party. Yeah. <laughs> and it... You've got so to get you're, there you're early, David. You're planning to get there at lunchtime and then just... <laughs> Wait we, for dusk. We thought, we thought we'd have a bit of lunch, we'd make a day of it. Rod, jump to the moment now where these, right. you have to share the flip-flops. Right, so two of us, two, two flip-flops each. Four flip-flops, two people. Uh -huh. That went on really well for about an hour until I lost a flip-flop. How? Yeah. Leapt across a rock, waves crashing below, hot, jaggedy rocks, and flip-flop fell in the water. Gone. Three flip-flops, two people. <gasps> Carried on like that for an hour. <laughs> My friend going on a few metres in two flip-flops, then throwing a flip-flop back to me. I put his flip-flop on with my other flip-flop, and I caught him up. That went on for quite a while, that system. I, I, until... I, I'm not clear on that system. Here it is. This is me, this is him. Yeah. He goes forward in his two flip-flops. Yes. Throws a flip-flop back to me. Yeah. I put his flip-flop on, and I catch him up. This is the exact chat they have in the Welsh football dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> The system went on well for a while. Yeah. Until he throws the flip flop. I fumble the catch and lose the next flip flop. Now oh, we're two flip flops, two no. people. <laughs> so he goes on a few meters in his two flip flops. I what? wait in bare feet. He throws both flip flops back to me and then I catch him up. Right. That goes on quite well for about an hour. Until you'll never guess what happens. He throws the flip flop back to me. I fumble it, down it goes. No. Now we're on one flip flop, two people. And then you'll never guess what happened next. What? A Dutch bloke came round with two shoes on. We then tell him the system that's been going on. He said, well, we won't continue with that. We'll all take one shoe each. And yeah. we hopped. Yeah. Did you make it to the party? We made it to the beach where the party was. Yes. And then we thought, we don't fancy it now. No. <laughs> How did you get back? Bus. We took the bus that Jamali had took. <laughs> But well, what they did was one person got on the bus, the other one walked ahead, <laughs> then the bus overtook them and he got off the bus yeah. and he got on. Yeah. What do you mm. think, Rosie, what do you think? Does it strike you as true? Well, the whole story, Rod comes across as an idiot. So, <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I think it's lies. Why? Because <laughs> this Dutch guy just came from nowhere. Yeah. And no, then... he came from Holland. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why it's a lie, because if it was a real Dutch guy, he would be wearing clogs. <laughs> yes, that's right. That's a, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> What's it going to be, David? Do I think it's true? Ask yourself that one. Yes, I do. Right. <gasps> Rod, was it true or was it a lie? It was true. Oh. <laughs> it's true. Rod did share flip-flops with his friend. For one month, I chose to sleep on the streets rather than talk to the people I was supposed to be living with. <laughs> David C. And uh, what stage in your life is this? What stage? Yes. Do yes. you mean how old was I? Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> Age, 20. Whereabouts? Where was it? Spain. What made you vacate your house? 
There was no house and I never went to it. You never went there at all? It was uh, a hotel, a hostel thing, you know, not a house. Yeah. I went there, stood outside. OK. Looked at it. Yeah. <laughs> thought, nah. <laughs> so it, it wasn't the people, it was the... It the... was the idea of the people. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to live alone and were surprised that a hostel didn't afford it. <laughs> Possibility. And you stayed on the street, the street, for a whole month. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, bar, you... bar a couple of nights here or there, yeah. Did you pull on the other nights? What, what happened on those? <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely right, yeah, that's what <laughs> So on, yes, those, yeah. on those occasions, the thought of other people wasn't quite so loath. <laughs> yes. Where in Spain was this? It was in Salamanca, and I slept on a bench, right dead centre of a square. <laughs> how were you washing your clothes? Uh, I didn't. Well, how many pairs of pants did you have? I'm going to say four, but... Four for a month without washing them? <laughs> I said four, but it could have been seven. <clears throat> well, seven's not enough. <laughs> you need 28, otherwise you're in an no, <laughs> I hate to support your own teammate against you, Lee. <laughs> if you're going to a place for a month, you might decide that you're not going to take enough underwear to have a fresh pair of pants every day without ever washing. How many pairs of pants do you own? I think I've probably got about... I've, I've got maybe... Look at you, desperately thinking... <laughs> what is the right answer? <laughs> There's no the right or wrong. Amongst no, friends. I think I've got about... 14 pairs I'm happy with. Yeah. And another <laughs> another f four or five that would do at a pinch, and I use the word advisedly. <laughs> Predominantly <laughs> boxers or bikini brief? Um, <laughs> Predominantly... I mean, it's interesting that this is what the conversation is <laughs> going <laughs> Predominantly, what I believe is referred to as a sort of trunk. You favour the trunk! Yeah. <laughs> I think you, mean, you mean the jockey short? Like a boxer short shape, but tight. Look, I'll just take my trousers <laughs> off and you can look. <laughs> <laughs> I did, actually, I did wash a pair of pants. Oh, you oh. remember that? You remember. I did wash it's a amazing pair of how these things come back <laughs> to you. <laughs> the reason I chose the, square, the middle of the square was because that, there was a bin lorry that would come round every morning in concentric circles, just spraying from the side of the lorry, hosing down the square. I would, I would stay in the middle and then I would wash in the bin lorry. <laughs> when it got to the centre, and one day I did wash a pair of pants on the hose on the side of the bin lorry. I did. Wow. I did. So you put... Hey, you... hi, girls. <laughs> <laughs> this is my friend Rod. Would you like a drink? <laughs> you, you put a pair of pants in the way of a bin lorry's hose <laughs> to yeah. wash it. I used to wash in the bin lorry, well, the tap at the side of the bin lorry, yeah. So they wouldn't mind you sauntering up to the bin lorry and turning the <laughs> no, tap they on? No, they were very amenable, the local bin men, Miguel. Are you <laughs> Did you learn the phrase, can I wash my pants on the side of your bin lorry in Spanish? Uh, se puede lavarme los, um, what's underpants in Spanish, Rob? Panto <laughs> undero. How many so pants have you got, Rob? I was just given a gift. It was my birthday recently, not that you'd know from any response from you. And <laughs> I didn't know you were still alive. Um, <laughs> Um, what did you get for your birthday? Oh, sorry, yeah, I got some... Um... Old man who forgot the story. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lovely present anyway. On with the game. <laughs> Do you remember, got... Rob, you were telling us a lovely story about your pants? <laughs> I got... Tell us about your pants. <laughs> I got some pants. Yeah. Now, oh, so... That's... Yes. <laughs> so, Roman Keating, what do you think? Yeah, I could see them doing... I could see them doing that. Toff, what about yeah. you? I think it's a completely insane thing to do to, do, to do what you did, so I think you're lying. There is a lot of detail. I'm going to go true. You're saying it's true. Yeah. OK, Rod. Was it the truth or was it a lie? It was a... true! Yeah. <laughs> insane! Yes, it's true. OK. A mistake I made in France meant someone in England got hospitalised. Please, team. Have you just learned to read? <laughs> <laughs> uh, was the mistake you made in the French language? Yes. It's a simple question, Rob. Yeah. Was it in the French language? Was it in the language of right. French? It's a simple the... question with a simple answer. Right. Yes, it Can was. Can you tell Me. us the mistake yes. you made, please? <laughs> The mistake I made got somebody hospitalised. That's the... That was the... <laughs> I didn't say... I didn't say... No, no, no. no. That, that's not worthy of a clap. No. What was the mistake? What Kess was the mistake? Kess could say. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, I'll, I'll take it from here. 
What was the nature of this mistake? It was a language thing. It was a French-English mix-up. It was a mix-up, a terrible mix-up, a terrible mix-up. What language were you mix doing terrible. in France? I was, uh, I was on the phone. <laughs> I, was, I was in France, I was working in France, and I was on working the phone. Working in France. I was on the phone to England, and I made a mistake with my French-English translation. Who, who received the mistake? Uh, a girl, a, a girl. What was her name? Anne. What colour hair does she have? I don't know, she was on the phone. <laughs> So can you talk us through the incident? I was asked by someone in France, they said, can you talk to somebody in England? Why did they ask you to do that? Because <laughs> they didn't speak English. Right. What was the relationship between Anne and the person that had asked you to talk? Oh, that was Anne's father said, can you speak to Anne? She's in England and we're Wait. in France. And ask her what's wrong with her. How did you know him? What How was the relationship? How did you know him? There's a new angle. Oh, I knew him. Well, you should have asked. I knew him because... Uh... <laughs> I worked in a, in France. I was in a school. I worked in a school. He was the caretaker. What were you doing in, in school? I was uh, teaching English. Now, his daughter, she's French. Yes. She's living in England. Yeah. Now. No, no, she wasn't living. She was on a, a very short exchange. Thing. Right. Now, in the words of Question of Sport, what happened next? <laughs> he came to me, said, can you talk to my daughter, Anne? She's ill, she's in England. She, she, she couldn't speak to the family she was with. That's the problem. That's so, the problem. So she didn't know how to speak to the family? She couldn't speak to the family, cos the family was English. How are you speaking English. to her going to help that? Well, here's the situation. <laughs> Anne could talk to her dad and tell her what was wrong with her in French, but he couldn't say that to the family, cos they didn't speak French and he didn't speak English. So right. he came to me, who spoke both languages. I went to her, I spoke to her in French, <laughs> then I passed it on to the family in English. What's wrong with them? I passed that on to him in English, then I passed it back to him in French. Everyone's happy. Now, let me have... she got... <laughs> You said that you made a mistake that caused this person to be hospitalised. That's right, I did, yeah. What did you do wrong? What did what you did say you wrong? Yeah. I said, kiss, kiss, burst, kiss, kiss, burst, kiss, kiss, burst, all that, you know, as yeah. you do. <laughs> and she said, Shane no Shane! Shane no Shane! Was she stuck in the bell tower? <laughs> <laughs> I know what's wrong with her. Is this something to do with her back? <laughs> J'ai une angine. And what, is that? what does that mean? Well, I said... I got the, the English family on the phone and I said, hey, she's got an angina. She's got angina. <laughs> and that's a mistake, right? Well, angina, I found out later, is a serious heart condition, so right. she was hospitalised. But what, what was wrong angine with Angine is a sore throat. I didn't know that at the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And what happened? Did they then rush her to this they, hospital? They called 999 and, and got her into hospital, yeah. Nuff, nuff, nuff. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so, Lee, what are you thinking? Could well, it be true? That I don't think Anne is a French name. That's the one bit in it that I don't believe. Anne-Marie. Is she? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what an absolutely amazing answer! <laughs> That's one of the funniest things anybody's ever said. <laughs> I believe it to be true. You believe it to be true? Mm -hmm. OK. It was so torturous getting that story out that it has to be the truth. Yeah. Lee, I you think so too? It could not be any truer. <laughs> Rod, truth or lie? Of course, it is... <laughs> ..true. <laughs> I once had a holiday in a Frenchman's garage. <laughs> Can I check if this is a euphemism? <laughs> Seriously, how old were you, roughly? I don't mean go, oh, 17. 38? 30... Oh, this is oh, quite recently. Would it happened? Yeah. So you're 38, <laughs> right? Yeah. You're in France. Where, where was the garage? France. Whereabouts in France? <laughs> Northern France. Whereabouts in Northern France? <laughs> Brittany. In Brittany. Okay. So you ended up in Brittany. Southern Brittany. Southern Brittany. Okay. And you the ended... northern end of southern Britain. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, oh, that's just... Uh, just south of mid-Brittany, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> well. Mid-Brittany, yeah. <laughs> What's the name of the town that you're in? The, the town, town where I stayed in the Frenchman's garage was Van. You're in the van in the garage. <laughs> no. <laughs> the the town... is, how, is this how this mix-up happened? <laughs> I want a holiday uh, town... in a van. <laughs> Rod, Rod, let me speak to you as another Welshman. Maybe he'll understand me. <laughs> Ask me a nice specific question. Did you book? A holiday in a Frenchman's garage. No, I once had a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> when you arrived in
in the in the village or town called Van. Yeah, Van, yeah. Did you already know you will be staying in a garage? No. Were all the hotels booked? No. We thought it looked nice in the brochure. Who did? Me and my partner. Partner? Girlfriend. Girlfriend? Now wife. <laughs> Blimey, that was a quick ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> OK. So you were going to Van. We you... went to we went to Van. Right. Went to a tourist information place to... Because you hadn't booked anywhere. We hadn't booked anywhere. I'm with you. Right. right. What happens at the tourist information place? They said, what about this place? And we said, that looks nice. Lovely. There's a house with a nice Good. pool. Good. Looked nice in the picture. Yeah. So we, so we went there. So you right. got there. And when you got there... It was a garage. <laughs> The I... house was nice, but we were in the garage. <laughs> was the garage decked out to look like a room, or was it just spanners and...? It looked like a room with a canoe on the side and a fuse box. <laughs> <laughs> Am I old before my time? But yes. At, at 38, you don't go on a crazy, we're not going to book where we're going. At 38, you want to know where you're going. We've yeah. got this nice, I'm with you, comfy Hal. room. Yeah. You know, if it is true, you totally deserve what happened to you. <laughs> um... I didn't say I didn't enjoy it. So you liked the sort of... It was a deliberate rough No, it was a disaster. <laughs> In the garage. Two weeks. You stayed for two weeks. Yes. How much did you pay? It was very reasonable. I'm not surprised. <laughs> you didn't have any windows in the garage. No. And you said there was a swimming pool. Yeah, they had a swimming pool. You were allowed to use it. No. <laughs> I can't help thinking that what you're describing is more of a hostage scenario. <laughs> And what about Mrs Gilbert? She wasn't Mrs Gilbert then, but what, how did she react? Because she's looking at you, Rod, the tall, strapping, handsome Welshman, what everyone dreams of. <laughs> <laughs> and you whisked her there. Was yeah. there not a little part of her that, that, that died that day when she saw <laughs> what you expected her to She wasn't very well, if I remember rightly. <laughs> Was it <laughs> carbon monoxide or exhaust fumes? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lee. Um, it's it's a complex tale. Um, uh, what do your team think? Absolute lie. It's a lie. Absolutely. Really? Mm -hmm. Based on just the floundering. Absolutely everything. <laughs> like what? All right, it did have windows. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking, Hal? It's like he's throwing in things that seem so ridiculous. And no, but nobody would go and stay in a garage without windows. But I think they wouldn't. Sort of You're things. Kelly <laughs> Hoppen, though, Kelly. <laughs> yeah. He's Rod Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what's it going to be, Lee? Truth or lie? Lie. Lie? Lie. Lie. I, I think it's true, but I'll go with my team and say it's a lie. You're going to say lie. OK, Rod. <laughs> Garage holiday in France. Truth garage or holiday lie? in the Frenchman's garage oh. in Van. True. Oh. Oh. Yes, it was all true. Rod did once have a holiday in a Frenchman's garage. I cannot go on airport travelators. The one and only time I did, I got so freaked out by how superhumanly fast I was walking, I had to be taken to the sick bay to calm down. <laughs> Lee, what do you think? Right, I mean, just how fast would you say you were going? <laughs> Superhuman was the word I used. <laughs> OK. How fast would you define superhuman? Cos I've got my own definition. Have you? Well, what's yours? Uh, I asked you first. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say it went very fast, I didn't like it. So you're saying that you were on it, you had to be escorted off, taken to the sick bay? I wasn't escorted off, I, I got off the end <laughs> and then I sought assistance. You felt nauseous. You, did you fall That's off? right, I felt nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> what's the difference between nauseous and nauseous? David, what's the difference between oh, excuse nauseous me. and nauseous? Excuse me, you could have asked me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a human being! <laughs> I'm imagining you'll refer me to David. D David, <laughs> what's the difference between nausea? Is it simply pronunciation? I think it's simply pronunciation, Rob. Oh, yes. OK. <laughs> Thank you, David. That's As you were. <laughs> Shall I tell you another thing I don't like? It freaks me out when escalators don't work. You know, when you go up an escalator and you get up and you're exhausted and your legs are burning and you walk, and they don't work, it's more tired than the stairs, yet when you get to the top, you still fly off the end like that. That freaks me out. <laughs> I don't like that feeling of lack of control. The escalator doesn't work, yeah. and yet you still fly off the top. Why is that? Mm. I don't think you do fly off the top. I think that's no, just, you do fly off the top. Your brain David. telling you. A no, lie. my brain doesn't tell me anything. It, 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 honestly, it does. Ross <laughs> <laughs> Bray 
does not tell him anything. No. I, is that my, what do you mean? It's not my brain telling so me. You, I'm you're saying that we're on a, at the top of a stationary escalator. You yeah. In some way, are thrown yeah. off the end of it. <laughs> yeah. As, if it were as I described. That's nothing to do with the electrical motor in the escalator that isn't turned on. I'm not on. saying it is. That's because you're using a certain amount of extra energy in order to go up some stairs. Yes. And then suddenly it seems that. easy to go on the floor. Well, you'll find that at the top of a normal flight of stairs. <laughs> no, that. Yes, you will. Nobody flies you'll, off the top of a have, normal what? stairs. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Let's have a go, shall we? Let's give it a little go. Oh, you're right, David. Oh, you're, right. <laughs> you're quite right. What? What I'm going to tell you now, Rob, you may not be ready to hear. <laughs> but the feeling of getting to the top of a normal flight of stairs... Is not and, the same. ...and the feeling of getting to the top of Rubbish. an escalator Rubbish. that is not turned on... Rubbish. ...is Rubbish. the same. It's not. It is the same. It's not. It is the it's same. It's not. This is madness. It's not. <laughs> what you, you're saying... You, you started off saying it's I'm not going to discuss it anymore. <laughs> I've told you the information. At some point, <laughs> you will accept it. Yes. Well, you're on, you're on this travelator, OK? I was, yeah. Once. And you didn't like the fact that you were going so fast. Is no, that, that, would that, that be a fair assessment? Well, that's exactly what I said, so yes. Yes. Why didn't you stop walking so you weren't going as fast? <laughs> I just don't like the way they kind of... Bump Tell them. you what. They kind, of, they kind of shift along. I just don't like you that. Oh, it's the up and down motion. Well, it's, there's a Why little you... cushion padding in it, yes. You could have walked backwards and then you'd been standing still. Yes, I know, but... If I had you a... judge the speed right. All right, but I had a plane to catch, David. <laughs> right. <laughs> So what do you think, Lee? Tess, what do you think? Well, I'm trying to read his body language, because I'm a woman and we do intuition very well. <laughs> He's very laid back. He seems very committed. To, very I think committed, he might very be confident, telling the truth. very laid back. Yes. Mm. What I about you, Tess? I just think he's telling the truth. I think he is. Thank you, Tess. I think he might be telling the truth. You're saying true? Am true. I? True. 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 Rod, truth or lie? It is a lie. Oh. <laughs> It's a lie. Of course, Rod can use airport travelators. 